Stargirl chapter 13. In less than a minute, everything returned to normal. Stargirl retrieved Cinnamon and sat back coolly in the hot seat as if nothing had happened. Kevin's eyes twinkled. He was squirming. He couldn't wait to dig into the interview. Neither could the jury, but their eyes were not twinkling. Kevin forced himself to look serious. So, your name? Stargirl. Mm, it's pretty unusual. Stargirl gave him a blank look. Kevin was flustered. Mm, isn't it? He said. Stargirl shrugged. Not to me. She's putting him on, I thought. Chico, I said into my mic. Stay tight on her face. A voice was heard dimly off camera. Kevin turned. A jury member had spoken up. Jury, mic up, I said. Ready, too. The mic was passed to Jennifer St. John. Two. The mic looked like a black ice cream cone before Jennifer's face. Her voice wasn't pleasant. What's wrong with the name your parents gave you? Stargirl turned slowly to Jennifer. She smiled. Nothing. It was a good name. What was it? Susan. So why did you drop it? Because I didn't feel like Susan anymore. So you just threw out Susan and named yourself Stargirl? No. No? Pocket Mouse. Twelve pairs of eyes boggled. What? I named myself Pocket Mouse, Stargirl said breezily. Then Mud Pie. Then Holly Gully. Then Stargirl. Damon Ricci, Ricky, snatched the mic from Jennifer St. John. So what's it going to be next, dog turd? Oh, here we go. Kevin jumped in. So, okay, you change your name whenever you get tired of it? Whenever it doesn't fit anymore. I'm not my name. My name is something I wear like a shirt. It gets worn. I outgrow it. I change it. So why Stargirl? Oh, I don't know. She petted Cinnamon's nose with her fingertip. I was walking in the desert one night looking up at the sky like, how can you not look at the sky? And it just sort of came to me like it fell onto me. Kevin looked up from his sheet of prepared questions. So what do your parents think? Are they sad you didn't keep Susan? No, it was almost their idea. When I started calling myself Pocket Mouse when I was little, they called me that too. And we just never went back. Another distant voice from the jury. I tapped the sound man. Jury Mike, keep all mics open. I hated to do it. It was Mike Ebersole. I said, do you love your country? Yes. Do you love yours? Ebersole ignored her question. Why don't you say the Pledge of Allegiance right? It sounds right to me. It sounds like you're a traitor to me. Jurors were only supposed to ask questions, not make statements. A hand reached into the pitcher and grabbed the mic from Ebersole. Becca Rinaldi's angry face appeared on camera too. Why do you cheer for the other team? Stargirl seemed to be thinking it over. I guess because I'm a cheerleader? You're not just a cheerleader, you dumb cluck. Becca Rinaldi was snarling. You're supposed to be our cheerleader, a mica cheerleader. I glanced at Mr. Robineau. He was turning away from the monitors. He was staring straight at the set through the control room window. Stargirl was leaning forward, looking earnestly at Becca Rinaldi, her voice small as a little girl's. When you, when the other team scores a point and you see how happy it makes all their fans, doesn't it make you happy too? No. Doesn't it just make you want to join in? No.
Don't you ever want the other team to be happy too? No! Stargirl seemed genuinely surprised. You don't always want to be the winner, do you? Becca uh, scowled at her, jutted out, Yes, yes, I do. Yes, I always want to be the winner. That's what I do. I root for us to win. That's what we all do. She swept her arm around the set. We root for Micah. She jabbed her finger at the stage. Who do you root for? Stargirl hesitated. She smiled. She threw out her arms. I root for everybody. Kevin to the rescue, thankfully clapped his hands. Hey, 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 how about this? Maybe it should be official. Maybe one person in the whole district should be appointed to be on everybody's side. Stargirl reached over and slapped Kevin's knee. <clears throat> she could wear every school's letter on her sweater. Kevin laughed. She'd have to be as big as a house. Stargirl slapped her own knee. Then no letter at all. That's even better. She looked into the camera. She swiped at the space before her. Out with letters. Cheerleader at large. Everybody's cheerleader. Kevin sat at attention, placed his hand over his heart. With liberty and justice and a cheerleader for all. Ebersole snarled into the jury mic. And a nut roll for all. Kevin wagged his finger. That's a no-no. He scolded. No statements from the jury. Questions only. Renee Bosman snatched the mic. Okay, here's a question. Why did you quit homeschooling? Stargirl's face became serious. I wanted to make friends. Well, you sure have a funny way of showing and making the whole school mad at you. I wished I had never given the hot seating Stargirl. Stargirl just stared. Chico filled the screen with her face. Gimme! It was Jennifer St. John reaching for the mic. And out of school, too. You meddle into everybody's business. You stick your nose in whether you're invited or not. Why do you do that? Stargirl had no reply. Her usual impish expression was gone. She looked at Jennifer. She looked at the camera as if trying to find an answer in the lens. And then she was looking away, looking at the control room. I took my eyes from the monitor and for a second, I thought they met hers at the control room window. I had been wondering when Hillary Kimball would speak up. Now she did. I'm going to tell you something, girl. You're goofy. You're crazy. Hillary was standing, jabbing her finger at Stargirl, chewing on the mic. You mustn't come from Mars or something. Kevin raised a timid hand. And don't you tell me no statements, Kevin. Where'd you come from? Mars or something? There. Now it's a question why don't you go back to where you came from? There's another question. Stargirl's eyes filled the camera. Don't cry. I prayed. There was no stopping Hillary. You want to cheer for other schools? Fine, go there. Don't come to my school. Get out of my school. Other hands were snatching. I know what your problem is. All this weird stuff you do, it's just to get attention. It's just to get a boyfriend. The jurors, ha! Ah, they were a mob. Hands grabbed at the mic. Kevin looked anxiously at me. I could do nothing. With all the buttons and switches at my command, I was helpless to change anything on the other side of the glass. I got a simple question for you. What's the matter with you, huh? Huh? Why can't you be normal? Why do you want to be so different? Yeah, is something wrong with us? You got to be so different. Why don't you wear makeup? They were all standing now, jabbing, jutting, shouting, whether they had the mic or not. You don't like us, do you? Do you? Mr. Robineau flipped the master toggle on the council. Console. That's it, he said. 
I flipped the audio sound switch. That's it. Show's over. The jury went on shouting.